Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to represent numbers to 1000 in different ways. Let's begin by recapping base 10. Base 10 describes how much numerical value each digit has in a whole number. Here we have a 1 cube which goes in the 1's place value. This value is 1. Next we have a 10 rod which goes in the 10's place value. It is 10 times bigger than the 1 cube. The value is 10. Then we have a 100 flat which goes in the 100's place value column. It is 10 times bigger than the 10 rod. The value is 100. Numbers to 1000 can be shown in a variety of ways. It's important to understand the value of each digit as each part of a number. For example, we do not want to confuse 340 and 304. Both numbers have 300, but the 10's and 1's are different. 340 is greater than 304 because four tens is greater than four ones. Another thing to think about is how to write the numbers down. Here we have 500 flats, 500, three 10 rods, 30, and six one cubes, six. We do not write or combine this number like this as it would be 500,306. We need to make sure each digit goes into the correct place value column like this, 536. Let's look more at a variety of numbers using base 10. Here we have the number 400. We would need 400 flats to make this number and they would go into the hundreds place value column. As there are no tens or ones, we would need to include the zero placeholder when writing 400 to hold its value. Here we have the number 130. The value of the one digit represents 100 as it is in the hundreds place value column. We would need only 100 flat to represent this. The value of the three digit represents 30, as it is in the tens place value column. We would need three 10 rods to represent this. There are no ones in this number, so it remains a zero to keep the value with no one cubes needed. The next number is 208. We would need 200 flats, eight one cubes, but no 10 rods. A zero is used in the tens place column to hold the number's value. Finally, let's look at the number 999. We would need 900 flats, 9 10 rods, and 9 1 cubes. Numbers to 1000 can be represented in different ways. For example, drawings could be used to represent this number, such as here we have 357. Here we have representations of the base 10. We have three squares, five rectangles, and seven dots to represent this number, but as a drawn version. Counters and pictures could be used to represent numbers such as 605. Here we have six counters in the hundreds column, no tens in the tens column, and five counters in the ones column. This would make 605. Or we could use pictures with numbers to represent the same number, a bit like this. Let's see if we can solve this problem. We're going to find all the three digit numbers you can make with these cards. Seven, two, five. A good way to start is with one number and work out all the combinations. Let's start with seven. If we swap the other two numbers, we could have 725 and 752. Next, let's try the five. This time we can make 572 and 527. Finally, we can take a look at the two. You could make 257 and 275. By following this step-by-step -step approach, you'll be able to find all the different combinations. So, let's recap. We need to think about numbers represented to 1,000. One, what is the value of each digit? Two, how many hundreds, tens, and ones in the number? Three, consider how the zero placeholder affects the number. Four, numbers can be represented in different ways such as drawings, pictures, and counters. I hope you have found this helpful. Thanks for watching and bye for now.